It's too cold. How do the ducks do it? I just want to get in the Jeep and go back home. Ah, are you inviting me to your home? But we are in your home and I'm still cold. Ducks, you're not cold, none of ya. Why is that? Their feathers, do you notice? Look, the water just runs right off them because the oil's from their preen gland, which is located near their tails. Part of their daily grooming is using their beak to grab some of that oil and rubbing it all over themselves. They stay dry even when floating in the water. They also fluff up their feathers for extra warmth. Under all this down and fluff is some fat, which also helps keep them warm. The fact that they're warm blooded also means their body will help regulate their temperature. The duck feet don't have fat, fur, or feathers. How do they keep them warm? Well, thinking about it, my hand doesn't have any of those. Whoa, it's cold. How do they do it? So if my hand gets cold, why don't the duck feet get cold? Unlike my hand, the ducks have counter current heat exchange. This is how it happens. The warm blood coming from the body passes the colder blood coming from the feet. And they're so close together that it warms it up before it goes back to the body. On a duck, the blood has cooled a little bit before going into the feet. The temperature difference between the foot and the water is small, so they don't lose as much heat. And that's important because of the Mpemba effect. The rate at which the temperature changes depends on the difference between the two temperatures, like the temperature of the water and the temperature of the duck's foot. The bigger the difference, the faster it changes. And that's part of the reason why my warm hand feels colder when it goes into the water. And all of these duck superpowers possible because the food that they eat. And you can help by going to Twitch TV over at Dash Ducks and giving them some food.